Amen. <laughs> so I'm sure you can feel the vibe. One. Right. Everybody was like, okay, they're coming, they're coming. <laughs> and finally, um, welcome, welcome to Thailand. I have heard that all of you have come to Thailand at least once. And especially, um, David, it's your third time or more, right? More than a fifth or sixth time. Fifth, wow. Yeah. So the others were what? Were holidays? Um, yeah, sometimes just visiting the record company and uh, other things. Peter, you've been here at least twice with me, right? Oh. Yeah, I think this is about my fourth time. Four. But never on a holiday. Never. No. That's, that's a work. big, that's a big mistake. It's terrible. It's terrible. So, yeah, I, I just have to ask, especially David, why you keep coming back to Thailand? Something special. The women. Right. I was expecting that. Give me something like new. Um, well, you know, I have a friend named Bowie who is a former Miss Universe. Uh, oh. Now, I'm married. She's married to a good friend of mine. And they, she's been a friend for 20 years, and, and uh, she's so beautiful. And, and, and the women here are beautiful. The people are beautiful. The customs are beautiful. The country is beautiful. Everybody's so friendly, and I think everybody would, would share that sentiment. If I may, sure. just. Um, say one word about uh, Siam and the tragedy that happened this morning. And right. we're so sorry because they are one of our sponsors and we know it's going to be a very, very difficult few days for the families. And, and so on behalf of all of us, we, uh, we extend our condolences to the, to the 10 people that lost their lives. And um, it, it was just tragic news to hear this morning. And uh, we, we feel very bad, but we are going to proceed with the show in their honor. Okay, uh, let me translate that because it's quite important. God, uh, well, that was that was a wrong question to you. <laughs> well, if you're the Spice Girl, um, I would recommend you for for a, a, a papaya salad, a somtam, and tell them especially I'm a Spice Girl. Make a spicy one. Uh, yeah. Lots of chili. Lots of chili, yeah. Okay. And don't say it's from me, all right? <laughs> Okay, all right. Um, so now this is the third time that um, David has come. He keeps coming back with all. He has friends all around the world, and this time he's bringing all these, you know, famous. I'm sure that we have all grown up to to each of, of your songs. I, I when I was um, in my high school, I even cut my hair according to you. <laughs> I remember that. So, so um, I'm sure that you know each each of us has has some memories and grown up, you know, of all of your songs. But let me ask David, why did you choose this group of friends? Well, I, I need to explain a couple of things. First of all, sure. Gurpil, who uh, is uh, came in third on Asia's Got Talent, yeah, and, and and she was my golden buzzer. Wow. So. I had a little pull when it came to my own concert, and I said, I want my golden buzzer to be here, and she's got a beautiful voice. Now, Natalie is a David Foster virgin. Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> what does it mean? Now there's a sentence. Yeah. Um, so Natalie has never done a David Foster and Friends concert before. Right. Uh, and so this is the first time. And, and honestly, the reason why she's here is because I am a fan. And I reached out to her, and she said yes. And and I just love her music, and um, she's gonna try and do one of my songs. Uh, and uh, but that's not why she's here. She's here to do her own music. And I I'm that. just really flattered to be invited, and I was so excited to hear that Mel was gonna be here because Mel and I are friends from back in London. So yeah, thank you for having me. Yeah, it's, really it's, it's gonna be awesome. And then this one, my fellow judge on uh, Asia's Got Talent. Right. So we've had uh, quite a few musical experiences together already, so it was a natural fit. And then this one. This one. <laughs> uh, what I love to say about Peter is that, you know, Peter and I uh, did write about five or six hit songs together, but I like to always say that I am a very small piece of his musical life, but he's a very big piece of my musical life. Wow. And that's the way it is, because you know the group Chicago, before he had this incredible solo career, he had this whole run way before I met him of hit after hit after hit, then hits with me, and then hits after me. So he's had a long and beautiful career and just got inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame this year. Woo! That's who you're seeing. Peter, you want to say something? Yeah, 
so so glad you are here. To be here. No, it's it's always an honor to sing and play with David. The uh, you know these these shows are so unique. They're always so un uh, so unique. And uh, I know this is about what five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten shows. And they're always different, and they're always fun, and uh, he always brings the best band you can have. So we always have fun doing it, and I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. And we always do a song at the end, which they don't know yet. Do you know what? You have to all, you have to all learn a song at the end, right? No pressure. Yeah. Uh, so we're not sure what that song is going to be, but everybody Well, we're going to leave that to Richard Marks. <laughs> Where is Richard Marks? He's on the plane. Still on the plane. He's on his way. Well, to, finally, Richard, speaking about Richard, Richard used to um, be an intern for oh, me. Oh, really? Uh, do you know, is the word intern is the same in time? Well, intern is, is uh, someone, it's like a protege, right? Not, Not even. Ready. No, somebody that got me my coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to make it more nice. Seriously, yeah. Um, <laughs> but seriously, he was. And, and, and he's such a brilliant musician and writer. He, for two years, he just got the coffee and he showed up first and he left last and, and uh, he was just studying and then he went off and had this huge, huge, huge career. So really, I've performed with him before but I'm uh, really excited uh, to have him uh, round out this cast of stars. Are, uh, is, is your internship still open? Uh, not for him, it's not anymore. But uh, well, look, we're going to we're gonna find sick. I love to go to the audience as Peter well knows and find singers. For instance, right out here, there's okay. probably, what, 75 people here? I guarantee you there's somebody that I can walk to and they will sing for me because they think they're a star. Guarantee you. Okay. Anybody? Anyone. Anyone. Come on. One person that thinks they can sing that'll sing for me. <laughs> Sorry? Where? Where? Come, come up. Uh, behind the camera. Uh, right behind the camera? Yeah. Is there is is there any tricks? When so, um, I think we talked about what's the surprises, right? He'll, uh, and you can never tell, like he said before, Even what this is. Even to me at this late date, yes. <laughs> okay. He wanted me to wear a dress one night. I said no. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> no. Uh, but you know, musical surprises are good. Sometimes you, you get a unique perspective, and I think with this group of people, you never know what's going to happen. Yeah, they're all so professional, but you do improvise a lot. I'm sure that's going to be really, really, especially you, you're smiling all the time. <laughs> it might be some evil plan. <laughs> I, I think something that's very special about this show is it's unique, you know, being very special and exciting. And it's so lovely to be here. I've had great experiences as a Spice Girl, as a solo artist, mm -hmm. and it's been quite a while since I've been able to perform here. So I'm very happy to be back, especially with Mr. Foster. It's like a pop-up. You like pop-up? Yeah. It's a pop-up. It's a pop-up. Yeah. 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 Before you ask Natalie, I would say, like, for instance, yeah. maybe on Wednesday night, maybe I would say to Natalie, now I'm giving this away, but maybe I would say, Natalie, when you were a kid, what yeah. was your favorite song that you used to sing in the house all the time that you haven't thought about for 10 or 15 years? <laughs> Nick, can you think of a song that you used to sing all the time? Whitney Houston, I will always love you. Okay, so... Wow. <laughs> but I can't attempt to sing that song. It's not going to happen. Anyone who No, no, but, now, but if I had asked you that Wednesday night, I would make you sing that song. At least, I hope at least that. the verse, of course. You, you know Fernando? I just yes, did the Fernando, Fernando. Right, right, right. So there's an opera singer called Fernando. Yeah. Right. I just did the proms with him. And he was saying, watch out, be yeah. careful. You could be on stage and he yeah. could throw something else. I'm, like, oh, I'm very rehearsed. I don't know how I'm going to go. But the worst part of what you just said is that you were a kid when I was oh. loving you. <laughs> but no. So I was singing, something like singing that into a hairbrush. <laughs> something could happen like that. Okay, then we would definitely get a surprise, even for the artists on the stage here. Sitting, you know, next to these greats, next to these um, living legends, I would say. Ah, oh, it's such an honor. And um, what was your question again? <laughs> <laughs> the question is, do you have anything? Okay, not surprise because it wouldn't be a surprise. Yes, it is. You can tell now, but okay. you know, anything special that you want to tell Thai fans? Mm -hmm. Watch out, mm -hmm. this is coming to you. Well, if they're going to see the show, I guarantee them that they're in for a big treat. Um, yeah. Like so. candies. <laughs> we candies. Her, we 
we ask her, Phil, how her life has changed since yeah. she was became a star on Asia's Got Talent? And uh, how has your life yeah. changed? Yeah, oh, the course of my life um, has never been the same after Asia's Got Talent. And uh, of course, there's no one else to thank except the one and only David Foster for the recognition that he has given me in Asia's Got Talent. Thank you. <laughs> but, but now you get recognized in the Philippines, yes? Yes, yes. And, and, and you, you're doing concerts? Yeah, t concerts, um, tours, uh, not only in the Philippines, but um, abroad, mm -hmm. and um, a lot of offers, a lot of offers. And you're making money. It's crazy. <laughs> making money? <laughs> yes. Using it for good. Okay. Using it for my school. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but but it's no doubt that David is one of the star spotters. He has spotted people who has become superstars in the world, and this will be the next. Um, 